Obi-Wan Kenobi episode 4 is finally out and it's time to talk full spoilers with this right now. So guys, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button because I'll be here every week because the force is with me. And I definitely want to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section. So the episode we got this week, I actually very much felt this was, I actually thought this was the episode we are going to get last week. Where I always feel like in all these Disney Plus shows, that third episode or that middling arc of the entire show is the one that kind of is... Not a lot happens, not a lot of progression happens, but just a little bit happens. Last week, that didn't happen. This week, this was the episode. It was a rescue mission to save Leia. Well, they saved Leia, and a lot of different things happened. So, let's dive into this. First off, the discussions between Reva and Leia is where I really want to kick off this review, because Reva and Leia have been kind of where a lot of the fandom has been kind of split in here. Some toxic stuff being thrown at them, some people just absolutely not liking the performances, and some people loving them. I've been in the thing where I actually really like both performances, and I actually think both of those characters are very much idealistic, different personalities, and different point of views from Obi-Wan Kenobi. Leia is very much young Anakin from Phantom, Phantom Menace, and as well as Reva is very much Attack of the Clones heading into Revenge of the Sith Anakin Skywalker, and I think it's a nice parallel for Obi-Wan Kenobi to feel that. This episode, though, is an interesting one, having Reva interrogate Leia. And they're back and forth with one another. And very much the dynamic and the little nuances that they gave with one another was truly phenomenal. And stuff that I really like. And I think even people who maybe thought Leia was annoying earlier on might finally come around to her and see really the brilliance in her performance in this episode. Even though her screaming in the torture room, she kept repeating herself. And I understand she's scared, but maybe different couple lines would have been helping in that particular moment. But I really love the interrogation scenes in here. And how it really shows where Reva will go to get the information she needs. She was about to tear this little girl's eyeballs out. And she went almost there. But thankfully, you know, we got a little mole in the Republic. And also we finally see O'Shea Jackson Jr.'s character. Now I know a lot of people thought, oh, maybe he'll be playing Quinlan Voss. He wasn't, which kind of sucks. But again, I liked seeing O'Shea Jackson Jr. in here. And seeing his dedication to seeing how he would help getting, of course... Our friend that we met last episode, and of course, Obi-Wan Kenobi, which the second, and please tell me I'm not the only one, the second they got Obi-Wan Kenobi and I heard back to Tank, I said, oh, we're getting a flashback episode. Like, I swore we were getting Boba Fett all over again with that. But in this case, I actually wouldn't have minded a flashback sequence because I think in this episode in particular, it would have worked. We're already moving along. Let's find out that little difference. What happened with Reva there? Maybe Obi-Wan Kenobi comes to some circumstance there. Maybe we see Anakin Skywalker Young. Maybe we see Ahsoka. Maybe we see other Jedi. That didn't happen. He wakes up, which is what I think a lot of us wish would have happened with Boba Fett. And he comes out, and he's very much like, we gotta go save Leia. They're coming up with this plan. She has the clearance still. They head there, which she is just playing such an impressive feat there. Especially when she's talking down to the other officer. And she gets down, and she's just very much getting this spy feel. Which I feel like is a lot of what we are probably gonna get in the Cassian Andor show. Which makes me really excited for that. Because I like seeing these little spy espionage missions and seeing Obi-Wan Kenobi swim through. It gave me some Phantom Menace when they're swimming through with the Gungans and all that sorts of things. But they infiltrate the base, which is a base that we got from Jedi Fallen Order. And seeing it all come to life was really great. Prosthetically and production-wise, it was great. And seeing how he's sneaking around and using the Force to get around some stormtroopers, it was just really fun. It was thrilling. He never knew what was going to happen around the next corner, especially once he needs a distraction. So she goes to distract Reva. That all goes down hell. But where it really comes down is where Obi-Wan Kenobi shuts those lights off and you see the lightsaber go off. Boom, boom, zoom, zoom, just taking out the stormtroopers, saving Leia and making their way out. But the probe droid notices them and it is stormtroopers heading out in all cylinders. They're trying to meet up with her. You're having him blast the shots back at them, destroying them, and it was so grand. Now, while we know Kenobi and Leia obviously are going to live, we still don't know, is Vader right around the corner? Is Reva? When are we going to get these Inquisitors coming into it? When are they going to become that feat? And that is what's becoming very scary in these moments. And of course... We do know what happens to them, but you never know what could happen next. Where is this story going to go? And that's what I was always looking forward to. And when it came down to that moment, where the laser, he deflected it and it hit the glass. And I love Leia's reaction. She's just like, oh shit. Our friend comes in, grabs her, 
He tells her to take her. He's manipulating the glass. He's holding it. You have the stormtroopers coming through him from right here. He lets it in the water. They, she, He runs. Door shuts. Puts on the suit. And they're starting to run out. And this is where you know the Reva is going to come in. And that's where it is. And I thought it was a little bit of a plot convenience, to be honest, with the ships coming out. Of course it happens at that very moment. Maybe it was planned that way. I was personally hoping Obi-Wan Kenobi to whip out that lightsaber and really atone himself back into the Force. I thought that would have been pretty cool. But... Even though that did not happen, it was still pretty badass to see the ships flying in and totally going at them. And of course, Reva, in anger, picks up the thing when her other brother says, kill him, destroy him, throws it, destroys the other ship, and we see what is happening. These are the early starts of the rebellion in some way, shape, and form. And in that moment, Reva's final shot of her sitting there at the end, and then of course, Vader interrogating her and saying that she put a tracker which the second she said that i'm like damn it it's on the droid and really much i think we need to talk about that scene with vader interrogating reva and holding her up and just how menacing he is how scary he is the way that they frame vader in this show is perfection and i love when he walks up during the the height he has on her is so grand but in this moment you know, we flash back. We see that they're mourning their loss. They're moving on to that next objective. Now we have two episodes. Which next episode, I'm assuming, with the lightning pacing that Deborah Chow is giving this show, we are probably going to get the Inquisitors, Reva, the Stormtroopers all attacking this home base where they are heading back to. And it is about to be an insane time. So guys, let me know down below what your guys' thoughts are. Again, hit that like, subscribe button, comment down below your guys' thoughts. I did just post a Miss Marvel review as well because Miss Marvel is officially out now. So you can go check that out in the card below or above. And also make sure, because I have been reviewing Obi-Wan Kenobi week to week, so make sure to check out those as well. If you the Force is with you, this is the channel for you. So of course, until next time, stay classy.